you're familiar with my videos, you may know I'm just a little obsessed with collecting leaves for our garden. I like to add them to compost, feed them to our red wigglers, make leaf mold, and use them as mulch. As of my last leaf update, I had collected 41 bags. Over the weekend, that total reached 48 bags when my neighbor donated an additional seven to my collection. Now that all the trees are bare, it's probably safe to say I'm done collecting leaves for the year. But who knows? It's been a very cold fall here in the Chicago area. Too cold for my bell beans, which were part of a nitrogen-fixing cover crop mix I planted back in August. Most of the bell beans in the garden don't look like they'll make it through the winter, so I won't have to worry about having to chop and drop them in the spring. They're already starting to decompose and will make a great addition of organic matter to the soil, as well as food for the worms and other soil organisms. The rest of the mix, however, seems to be doing better. The peas still appear to be alive, as do the vetch and the oats. Nitrogen-fixing cover crops need to be in the ground at least two months to be effective. Ours were planted almost four months ago. Since the cover crops have had ample time to work their magic, I decided to go ahead and do something I've done every fall since I started gardening mulch the fallow garden beds with a thick layer of leaves. This will add organic matter to the soil, provide a thermal blanket for earthworms and other soil organisms, and it will be a great food source for them in the spring. I like to apply leaf mulch before a snowfall. This way the leaves will be held down by the snow and not blow right back into the neighbor's yard right after he raked them up and gave them to me. As far as the cover crops go, I'm not sure if this heavy mulch will smother them or protect them from the cold. If they survive the winter, I'll just have to chop and drop them in the early spring. We had a few flurries before the weekend, but Sunday's snowfall was the first to really stick. It put a thick layer of snow on our cold frames and polytunnels and did a great job of covering the leaf mulch I just put down. Fortunately, there was enough sunshine to heat the cold frames and polytunnels above freezing and I was able to pick a salad from the winter garden. Looking at the forecast, I see that the expected low for Wednesday is 0 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold for December. If I'm not mistaken, we haven't seen temperatures below zero since 2011. So it looks like it's going to be a cold winter. Good thing I put down that thick blanket of leaves for the worms. And the snow on top will provide even more insulation to protect them from the cold coming our way. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.